Hey guys, Jennifer from Scrapping Under the Influence. I have finally finished my baseball album. Um, for this, I did use Cartabella um, Baseball by Stephen Duncan. I absolutely love his collections for, for Cartabella. They are just very retro feeling and just, you know, the colors and, and the images and whatnot are just awesome. I love it. Um, I've actually had this planned and partially cut and ready to go for like three months. <laughs> um, it was just a matter of finding the time to actually sit down here and focus solely on this and nothing else and finish it off. And I finally got a chance to do that. So um, let's just take a walk through. Uh, this base and the little baseball here for our closure. Um, are all a file in Cricut Design Space. Um, I will link that below. Um, I did use all access images, so if you have Cricut Access, you're all set. If you go to, if you don't have access and you go to cut a piece of this that you don't have, it will, of course, you know, there is a, a slight charge. Most of their images, if you, if it's not one you already have, are 99 cents. Once you buy it, it's yours forever. Um, this is a little bit bigger as far as the outside of the album. Um, we're at what, 10 and a half by about 10. And then it's got a two and a half inch spine. Um, so on the front here, what I did is I just took some of the, a couple of the baseball card cut aparts that are in this collection. Um, and because it is the Cartabella paper, which is good and heavy, um, similar to uh, graphic 45 paper, you know, you can do some different things with it. So what I did is just distress the edges of these and then crumpled them um, just to kind of make them look a little bit older. Um, I did pop up a couple of chipboard elements here, uh, backed this big sticker on some cardstock and popped that up. Um, I've got one little card, or I'm sorry, chipboard uh, sticker on that end and another one on this end. Um, the baseball, of course, was cut out of design space. Um, and then because it's a shaped book and you can't really wrap a shaped book like you would a normal book, um, the edge of the raw edge of this entire book is outlined in this um, chunky doodle bug baker swine that came out of my stash. Um, my cardstock for this, for both the solid cardstocks that are in here, as well as the patterned um, all came from Country Craft Creations. This is the Country Craft Creations um, cream artisan cardstock and this stuff is just phenomenal. It is the probably the best solid cardstock I think I've ever worked with. Um, <clears throat> so let's take a look. So this is magnetic to hold that closed. Um, and when you when you see the tutorial, this piece is actually optional. This book will stay perfectly closed just fine without any kind of closure. I just liked the way that looked and that was kind of um, what I had in mind like from the second I saw this collection when when um, Echo Park and Cartabella first previewed it. Um, I knew exactly what I was going to do. I had it laid out in design space and then it just literally took me months to get around to actually making it. So open this up. So it doesn't lay completely flat which is fine. Um, and that's just because of the weight of the page, or not necessarily the weight of the pages, just kind of how I've done the pages here. So um, if you do the tutorial, you'll notice that this spine is a little bit different. It doesn't have flaps, and we've actually kind of reinforced it just by running another piece of um, solid cardstock in between the hinges along the gussets and then reinforcing that with some other cardstock. I could have put some pattern here just to kind of cover that up. I decided it was fine the way it was. Um, so in here we've got a chipboard banner that was in one of the chipboard um, elements uh, for the collection that I have just backed on some cardstock and popped up and used a little bit of Baker's Twine. Um, I had two baseballs because initially the back side of this was supposed to be a baseball and I decided I wanted to use patterned instead. Um, so I just made that into a little insert here. Um, just some of the cut apart sheets here that I've just backed with cardstock to make them a little sturdier. Maybe. And then a couple of the um, baseball card cut aparts from that from that cut apart sheet. 
again, I've just backed um, a couple of the, the uh, ephemera, this is an ephemera piece, this is actually a sticker that I've just backed with cardstock to put on there. So you've got two pockets here on this, and if you saw my little 6x6 six six album I did for the design team for Country Craft Creations, you'll have seen this little quarter circle pocket with um, just a cut apart holding it closed. This was actually where I had designed it for, was this book, and then just hadn't had time to sit down and do this and decided it would be a fun element to use on um, that little 6x6 six six book. So this is just another one of the cut apart, so I've just mounted this on plain cardstock, backed it on both sides. This just flips open just like that. You've got another pocket in here with some more of those baseball card cut aparts. And this just tucks down in there to hold that closed. We've got an insert in each one of these pages. There are five pages in this book. This book will hold a ton of pictures. There's lots of pockets and places um, to stick pictures. I've got a lot of different little things, you know, where you could journal or, or um, use as photo mats. Um, so each one of these has an insert that I used one of the stickers from the sticker sheet on, um, just kind of as a little pull tab for the insert. So this one closes with a magnet, and this is basically just a good page to put some pictures and whatnot. I've got a couple little tags in here out of the ephemera pack that I've backed on cardstock and just added some um, baker's twine to and left that ephemera piece um, not completely tucked down, so that is just a good tuck spot. You could journal on the back of those cards um, and, you know, get lots of pictures and things in here. So, you know, you could get pictures over here. Um, this closes, like I said, with a magnet. On this side, we've got a little string closure. And this just opens up, flaps go up and down. And then we've got another pocket in here. And then just some leftovers. I loved that particular sheet of paper with all those ticket stubs on there. That was just probably one of my favorite sheets in the collection. Um, this is one of the cut-aparts. And then this is actually from the 6x6 pad. And you'll notice on the inserts and on some of the inserts and on the page inserts, you know, I've done this like ticket stub edge on that. That was just with a We Are Memory Keepers punch. This just closes up like that. Got another insert in here. And the inserts are all pretty much the same. I've got a big solid piece on each side, and then I've, I've used some of the either 6x6 six six patterned or on a couple of these I actually did use the full size, um, full size pattern scraps just to mat those. Um, this side, I should have totally put a magnet under here, and I did not do it. So this page, we've got a little tag. Um, I cut this paper, like I said, this was that ticket stub paper that I absolutely loved and I wanted to kind of keep it whole, so that's what I did here and just cut that so that it sits on top of that pocket and it's just a continuation basically of this sheet of paper. Um, I've got a little photo mat under here, this also flips open this way, got a couple more spots for photos, and then it flips up this way and again more photo spots there. This size side, excuse me, is just another big pocket. I've got some 4x6 photo mats in here. Um, and just one of the big uh, ephemera pieces that I backed with some cardstock. Um, and just a big flap here so you could put pictures here, you could put pictures back here, you could put pictures really even underneath the, that part there. Um, we'll get another insert there. On this side, we've got kind of a long waterfall. And when you get to the back of the waterfall, you've got a side loading pocket. So I've just got some more of my photo mats in here, four by six and some four by four. And then this just closes up like that. Now this side, we've got a belly band with an insert. And this is a little tag that you can pull loose here. This frame, you can put a picture underneath there. It is loose on two sides. Um, and then this little insert that I just kind of pieced um, with several different patterns. And then inside is just a good spot for photos. And you could absolutely stick some more photo mats underneath here. There's another one of our 
inserts. On this side, we've got a three by four waterfall. And on this, I did just use those um, baseball card cut aparts that are the three by four that are part of the collection and just ran those all the way down my waterfall. Um, the waterfall actually sits on top of a side loading pocket. So I've got more cut aparts and photo mats and things in here. On this side, I did home plate. So um, in the tutorial, I show you how to cut this manually. I actually didn't cut this part with the Cricut. Um, the only thing that was cut with the Cricut is just the base of the book. And really, it's a simple enough shape. If you wanted to, you could totally freehand it and you'd be fine. Um, so this closes with a magnet. And this just opens up and you basically just got some big spots for some bigger photos, you know, a collage of small photos, however you wanted to do that. Um, and then of course, another one of our inserts. And on the very back, we've got an expanding pocket and I've got a whole bunch of inserts in here, some four by four, some three by four. Um, and there's still tons of room in there to put some more. The back page, I've got another little banner that I've kind of added some baker's twine to, and then just two small flaps for photos, um, just because this is kind of chunky and I didn't want to have it really catching on stuff on the back here. So um, there it is. Um, I will try and get this tutorial up. Uh, if not tonight, then tomorrow I do need to edit it still, but I wanted to get the walkthrough um, completed and done and um, out there for you guys and of course if you do decide to find the tutorial and make an album of your own I would love it if you would share it with me um, scrapping under the influence on Facebook and on Instagram um, and of course follow me there if you would like and um, thanks for watching <laughs>